what is up guys so in case you can't tell this video is uh it's gonna be another instilling on what i like to call the ozark loggers which is me and my dad's logging company and sawmill company so this is about logging about working sawmilling so if you don't want to watch it just go ahead and click off now i've got a thousand other videos you can watch about whatever the heck you want to watch anyway today we're starting on a new track of good old good old growth white oak selling them for stave logs taking the tie logs take them to iron mill selling the stave logs down the river and uh uh see coming at you live from the loader we're gonna get to work dad's over he's already got a couple on the ground i gotta get with him figure out where he wants to put them at and we'll gather a plan from there so stick around if you like this type of content it's uh it's coming to you all right so we figured it out he wants these logs stacked up here this way that way we can pull our trailer in here load them up and be on our way so we're gonna get to work y'all uh sit back and enjoy it you want to get it in there what do you want to get Huh? Only one's cut. You got two down there. I didn't you buck them off. No, cut off. They ain't cut the name. There's good. Two some sand. Do what? You got two some sand. Over the shoulder chainsaw shock in action.
All right, so what has happened is, is I've got all the logs I can get too easy with my forks. So I come over here, I swap to my bucket, and I'm gonna push roads out to each and individual uh, tree that's cut. He's, he's still cutting. So granted, usually how this operates is with a skitter, cable skitter, grapple skitter, whatever. Our skitter's broke down, so here we are with this. We're gonna save a little bit of money and uh, we're gonna save a little bit of money. Fix our skitter, we need to rebuild it anyway. So we'll push the road out to each individual, then I'm gonna come back with my forks and skid them out. guys it's another day we've got 20 something staves sitting there on the on the landing there so we're gonna take the old blue truck isn't she a beauty take the old blue truck over there load this thing up right now we're just doing a little servicing gotta put uh power steering fluid put a little more fuel in it aired up a tire she's ugly but she does a good job and without it our entire operation would just come to an absolute freaking it wouldn't work <laughs> anyway uh stick around we'll uh get this load loaded up hopefully for too long we'll have it out right here a small fortune let's go brandon That about does it for this one like i said we're just going forward these logs out to another bigger area where we can get a tractor trailer in here we don't take this truck over the road what throw it down on the side we're having an argument over here about whether it takes them off yeah, 
you better go ahead and take it off. It doesn't look like a lot of logs, but they're heavy logs, so. Like I said, we're gonna forward these out. We'll have to make two or three trips out of these woods. Don't wanna overload it and then blow a tire or something like that because they're stuck. Well, guys, that does it for the video. It's been two days. We've got 30, close to 30 staves out, ready to go. We've got several tie logs. Well, sorry on tie logs, but it's just a day in the life of kind of what we do here. Get on hand timber products. We just like to cut staves and sawmill a little bit. It's in our blood. It's hard work. We got to get our skitter fixed so we can be a little bit more efficient, but it's hard work, but it's in our blood, so we enjoy doing it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go see my kids, my wife, eat some supper. So like, uh, like the video, comment, and I'll see you around.